And sometimes you realize that you need a break to have thoughts to do creative things. Oh, like it's shit. like a cycle. You can't just keep always be creating. And welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Asian Not Asian podcast, uh, the podcast where you get to hang out with your Asian friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, your uh, host, Mike Nguyen. I'm Jenny Arimoto. And uh, we're recording on a beautiful, beautiful day in September here in New York City. Uh, it is great. Uh, it is it is popping. There's a crowd uh, outside of the booth. Kind of staring at staring us. Staring at us, laughing at us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I also just was staring as that man spanked another man. That's oh, why I was kind of in a different world. <laughs> okay. Maybe they're all laughing at the man spank. That's uh-huh. okay, too. Um, anyway, so uh, this is... Welcome to the show. Um, and we've got a really fun show this week. I'm trying to figure out, should we... Should we do Patreon? We could, we got to do some Patreon. Yeah. Because we've get, been getting some great <laughs> Patreon people. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, and 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 we want to reward you guys, okay? And if you guys don't know what it is, Patreon is the best way to support the podcast. Uh, you can just go to patreoncom slash Asian Pod, and you get all sorts of little things. We have little hangouts on Zoom. We get, uh, you know, we we, we we can talk to you on DM. Um, and one of the things is we guess your ethnicity on the show after we give you a shout out, and we've got a few today. Um, and again, it's been really nice, okay? Because we've been getting some uh more women uh to pay to do the patreon for yes us. i love that yes that's my influence i think <laughs> it is i i think so the fact that we don't say fleshlight every <laughs> other word <laughs> is is important <laughs> so we're just gonna get right into it uh our first patreon is corona jang corona yes i just realized that that her name this person's name is corona I've never met someone named Corona. <laughs> We're just going to go a very nice, nice. Chinese American person. Ha yeah. Ha. Yeah. And this person is so cool and kind. And so and hot. hot. So really, hot. really hot. And really smart. Good style. Yeah. Great style. <laughs> Always finds things at a, a good price. Mm-hmm. And, you know, really good at Google. Huh? Shopping? That's pretty good. Really good at Google? <laughs> that was know. a compliment? <laughs> hey. Really good at searching on Google.com? Hey, I don't like this. It's a really hard thing to do, okay? The listener also doesn't know who I am I right know, now. I was, like, I was like, we have a ghost in this I studio today. Shut up. We have no. a ghost talking and we roasting me I know. about my compliments. Yeah. Good at Google? Sorry. <laughs> yes, we have that. So... Take it as a compliment. All right. So that's, uh, thank you very much for your for your donation, um, your pa- Patreon patronage. Uh, the next one is just Mimi. Mimi. Yeah. Um, this is a Japanese American <laughs> woman born in the 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> like she sounds like my aunt who lives in Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> yes. 1950s. You got really like specific. A, yeah. Like it's like that era of America. Yo, I like that workwear. I'm just seeing a lot of that. You know, um, I'm gonna go the other way because I'm. You always say Japanese, so I'm gonna I say do. I'm gonna say Vietnamese. This person though, hmm, I'm gonna give it. 1970s okay. you know what i'm saying so a little bit more bell bottom yeah. you know kind of like got like a big sunglasses you know hanging around at dairy queens okay. uh, <laughs> you know but mimi mimi nguyen i think that's that's gonna be the vibe i'm gonna give okay sounds like you're trying to marry this person i am obsessed with her i'm obsessed with you Mimi. <laughs> why didn't you call me back <laughs> um okay and then finally we have janice jordan janice jordan janice jordan um this person is white <laughs> and is just a fan. We have them. Yeah. They exist. They and exist. We, yeah. We, they, I think this could be cool. Um, we, I feel we should elaborate because we gave the, everybody else a, oh, a pretty yeah. decent backpack story. Is Janice Jordan, are we thinking this is a, um, I just learned about this, coastal grandma? Oh, we know about this aesthetic? Like. Yeah, I think so, maybe. Coastal grandma aesthetic. Think of like Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. You know, like flowy pants? Like linens? Yeah, flowy pants. You're drinking out of a big ass wine glass. Uh your you know, your 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 husband um is a teacher of economics at Princeton, you know, but you have a, a beautiful beachfront store. Uh-huh. You know, a very Ina Gardner okay. kinda kinda vibes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Janice 
Her her nickname, the Linen Jordan. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. That's gonna be you know. And she's really good at basketball. Yeah. That's the other twist. That's actually the twist. Yeah. They call her the linen because she's so clean with it. <laughs> so clean. Wow. Her shots are so clean. <laughs> we got it. We did it. Wow. Hundred okay. percent accuracy. Again, thank you so much for uh for this. And if you want to get up on this, it's patreon.com slash Asian not Asian pod. We've again we've been getting some um some patrons from all over the world, uh all the way from 1950s Japan to <laughs> 1970s uh, Oklahoma to Coastal Grandma, mm-hmm. and we want uh, everyone to get up on this. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into this. Oh shit, we I didn't even think about something for this week. Well, I kind of did, but Jenny, do you know what kind of Asian you were this week? Yeah, I can start. Yes. Um, this week I was a on the verge of a of a um, not breakdown. I mm-hmm. always say breakdown on the edge of a burnout. Asian. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I think I started a full time job yep. um, like six weeks ago. Yep. I had taken like a year off. And so I'm just getting used to having like a 40 hour work week again. And then also now juggling like comedy stuff yeah. on the side, which has increasingly taken up more time as the world has opened up. Yeah. Like shows are happening now, yeah, which yeah, wasn't yeah. happening last year as sure. much. Um, and so I think. Think and I also just have more friends now because I really focused on like building out my social life in New York, and so I do think like I'm starting to hit a point where I'm like tired a lot more. I'm just also getting older. Yeah. Um. And I'm back in therapy. I was talking to my therapist. Wow, you got and, a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot wow. going on. <laughs> yeah. Um. But part of my my struggle is viewing rest as something I need to earn. So like I feel I don't, even when I have time to rest, if I don't feel that I've done enough to earn that rest, I don't, I can't really relax. Yeah. Like I'm like technically watching TV, but my brain is like full of anxiety of like you should be writing or like doing something. For sure. Um, And so like that has been a struggle and I'm working on letting myself rest when I'm tired regardless. Yes. But I think I'm like still subconsciously not letting myself fully relax and just thinking about my to do's I should be doing. Yeah. Like feeling guilty basically when I'm like just sitting there like trying to catch a breath. I, I, I like that. I think even you should rest before you get tired. Mm-hmm. Mm. You ever do that? Just chill? I mean, mm. no, because I feel bad. Oh. Like I feel like I don't deserve it. Yeah. It's like just very fully ingrained, like the way my parents raised me. Yeah, um, I so think there's that. Yeah, I'm for like sure. trying to undo that right now. Mm-hmm. But it's like coming to a head this week where I was like, I'm really tired. Yeah. But I feel bad and I don't feel like I can rest. Right. You haven't earned it. Yeah, I haven't earned it. Yes. So I'm like, that's like a big thing I'm working on to get better at. To be like, it's okay sometimes that you're not productive during the week. That's okay. I, I like that. I like that a lot. And mm-hmm. I think it's. Uh, I, I I also hear you. And I think for me, just for this next. Month, I actually am going to try to do less things. Mm. You know, what I'm saying yeah. I'm going to focus. I'm going to I'm going to do the podcast. Don't worry, shouts, <laughs> right? But at the same time, I'm like I'm not going to really try to. I'm just going to like give myself a break. Yeah, you know. And I also feel guilty because I feel like I have I'm on break a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know? um, like anytime I'm on like Instagram looking at watches, I'm less like I'm not working. Right. I'm like not doing anything. Totally. But you know, at the same time, I then I have the guilt of that and goes around and around yeah you know? and sometimes you realize that you need a break to have thoughts to do creative things oh, like it's shit. like a cycle you can't just keep always be creating yes and so i'm starting to also try to build it in so I'm, i don't feel guilty i'm like this will lead to something later maybe so oh. relax girl relax girl That's relax me talking to myself <laughs> like just watch a stupid movie and relax <laughs> so i'm trying to force myself to relax by yelling at myself <laughs> Uh, um, so, yeah. yeah, you got to relax. I'm sorry that I pulled you into this uh, podcast universe because it's another thing on your plate that you cannot no, relax on. But we it's cannot fun. relax on this. I get to hang out with cool people because of it. That's true. Yeah. Are you talking about me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is that convincing? Yeah, that's, the end of, that's actually the end of the podcast. Yeah, and then it just cuts right It just there. cuts. It just cuts. <laughs> and actually, the black. whole series is over. It still <laughs> says with Karen G, so you know she was there. Yeah. She, still she was, was there. listening she was the whole time. She was there the yeah, whole time. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We should just brought you on there. I, know, I don't know why. I was why. like, why don't we bring Karen We're in? So, um, no, I actually don't want to be brought on anymore. Yeah, I just want to listen just, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. The, whole, <laughs> the whole time is just going to be a disembodied voice. We haven't cut you into the video yet. so Oh, great. Great, great, great. Yeah, it's just a voice. We'll never introduce you. It'll be great. You should never say my name or show my face. And then be like, guess who it was? <laughs> and actually, when when you are talking, we're going to replace that with the womp womp sound from, uh, from Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh my gosh, such a good point. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Chef Degree. We like start crying. We're like that was really beautiful. And like, womp, 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 womp. <laughs> I would love this. That um, sounds great. No, you're great. And uh, we're you know we're we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about what kind of Asian our guest was. Our guest is comedian, writer, actor, and we just found this out. Pisces. <laughs> She's a long-time yes. writer on <laughs> Late Night with Seth Meyers. Currently writing for season two of Pachinko. She's got a book coming out. She's, it's 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 all sorts of stuff. Uh, give it up right now for Karen Chi. Yay! Yay! <laughs> bom, 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 bom. Now you're officially here. <laughs> it's nice to be here with you guys. You are. God. You're giving such good, good, just excited puppy vibes. You know. Yes. I am. I am. I'm genuinely very excited. I was really excited to see Mike again. Really Aww. excited to meet Jenny. Yeah. This is a good day. Aww. Yeah. I was very excited <laughs> to have you on. Same. And. Uh, I think I because you were in Korea for a long time. Yes, yeah. And I would like I would I, I think you would come back every once in a while. Yeah, and like I would once be like, a year, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what are you doing? You want to hang out? And, she's like, and you're like, I'm ready on a plane, bitch. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I definitely said bitch. And I'm like, bitch, I'm yeah. on a plane, bitch. <laughs> I'm on a plane. And I'm like, it is oh, your I don't energy. know your name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no, she just sent me. She's, she's giving me the finger. I didn't know Karen yeah. was like this. Yeah, you just send a selfie of yourself <laughs> flipping him off on yeah. a plane. Karen, yeah. so mean. Look up in the sky. <laughs> Me flipping you off. Yeah. Um, you know what? I mean, you've been on the show before, and, th- and we're going to get into all the stuff you, you've 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 been up to for the last you know couple of years. But we we like to do this thing where we have the guest talk about themselves. You can say anything you want about yourself. Introduce okay. yourself. Yes. You got a whole. You got a minute. The only trick. The only ex- uh, the only uh, rule is you got to use the whole minute. The whole minute? The whole minute. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to do like a start-stop situation? Yes, I'll tell okay. you. Okay, Great. ready? Go. Uh, I'm Karen. I am six foot four inches tall. <laughs> and I love to party with my friends. Um, I have lived in New York for 40 years. <laughs> every year better than the last. I've <laughs> switched to a new apartment every year and it gets bigger and bigger every time. Uh, I have so much money that I <laughs> throw it out on the street whenever I go outside. Um, I love to hang and chill. <laughs> on the weekends, I go to the beach and I grow taller every year, to clarify. Um, and I'm a woman. Woman, and I love screaming. <laughs> and um, when it's too sunny, I hide. <laughs> and um, I get my teeth clean twice a year. That's true, actually. I do get my teeth clean twice a year. Um, my dentist always forgets who I am, and so I reintroduce myself every time. And then he gets surprised every single time that I do comedy. <laughs> and um, my butt is so nice. <laughs> I had stop. Okay. Wow. We got wow. to butt. We got to I butt. really ran wow. out. We yeah. really learned a lot. You know Thank what's you. you know what's great about you besides the fact that you're seven foot tall <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you yeah. have crammed yourself into this podcast booth yeah, yeah. and that you're a billionaire and you live in actually live inside of Central Park. Central yes. Park is what you own. Um, so thank you very much. What uh, what I also love is actually that energy, you know, just was just very Los Angeles. That's what I feel LA Whoa. people sound like all Whoa. the time. I, s- I swear to God. You feel like I'm from LA? Yeah. I'm from the Bay Area, so Yo. fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> that was also very LA. Oh my gosh. Um, well, you know, thanks again for doing the show. I mean, you know, I want to ask what kind of Asian were you this week, but also any thoughts on, on the resting thing, you know? I love resting. Yeah. Oh my god. But Are you I, good at it? Yeah, I think I but I think I need to, otherwise I just don't operate. So mm. I was talking about this with one of my friends because um why when I was in Korea I became close. There was like a group of four of us that got really close. Um and one of them was just sort of like, Oh, it's so how is Karen happy all the time? And I we were trying to figure it out and I think it's because I literally sleep at least eight hours every night. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then if I don't, I'm just like, This day is ruined, Ru- yeah. so I'm gonna nap right away. <laughs> so then I yeah, I just if I'm sleepy, nothing happens. So mm. I just, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I that's, love resting. That's I love so that, good. Yeah. I mean, I love resting too. Yeah, yeah. But I feel bad. I know what you mean. I think um, this weird, it was almost like a mental switch happened uh, during the pandemic. Like, yeah. I think I was like that before. I was sort of just like, I have to be working. Otherwise, I'm falling behind. Yeah. Um, and then at some point, I was just like, oh, I'm just going to work when I'm working and then not work when I'm not working. Mm-hmm. And it, it, yeah, it feels kind of black and white to me now in a in a nice way. That's good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like a switch. 
They it can is, turn on and is. off. Yeah, yeah, when I'm off, I'm fully off. I'm like truly zoned out, not thinking about anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I think. Yeah. Um, I gotta do that. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> just turn our brain off. Turn my brain off fully. Just turn off your brain. You yeah. know what was really helpful is, um, have you guys read this book called How to Do Nothing by Jenny O'Dell? No. Okay, it's a really, it's also just really well written, but uh-huh. she's um, a professor at Stanford and she wrote this book. It's genuinely a book about like how to do nothing and yeah. why it's important to do nothing and why in like the current she calls it like the attention economy yeah. Sort of. oh yeah um yeah you have to be on all the time yeah yes. um and in her book she straight up is just like if you zone out in like a garden your mind is going to be so much better afterwards and that book changed my life <laughs> okay Whoa. i like messaged her on twitter being like i love you thank you so much oh my god okay yeah. i'm gonna sw- swing by books are after this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna swing by garden and yeah. zone out yes. that's amazing <laughs> nice uh, karen what kind of asian were you this week um this week i was what was i this week this week okay i've been trying to get stronger so i think i am hoping to become strong asian <laughs> Is that a category? Whoa. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean? What are like you been getting? Physical strength? Yeah. yeah, yeah, physical strength. Oh, okay. What have you been doing? Um, just like group fitness classes and kickboxing. Oh, and, what? Like, yeah, like weights, but my weights are five and seven and a half pounds. Oh, that's so pretty good. Like, I'm really starting just at the very beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. No, kickboxing. I, that's amazing. I've never done that before. It's so fun. It's so fun. Oh I really God. recommend it because. The class I'm doing is you're not interacting with other people. It's just more for fitness. But then I want to get into boxing, boxing. Yeah. And so in the beginning, it's like you can be terrible and nobody cares. Right. And that's really nice. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just kicking things? Yeah, the air. Oh, the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Punching the air. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't know how kickboxing works, I guess. I, um, I'm trying to imagine because of who you are and how adorable you are. It's like my the, seven foot tall frame. Yeah, it's your yeah. seven foot tall frame. You know, your like, weights are just like, you know, like maybe it's like two... Uh, dress shirt buttons on a match, you know, <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, yeah. I'm screaming. It's, yeah, yeah. It's stu- very Stuart Little, you know, like, yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, truly, I do feel like that. this morning I took a class before I came here, and it was this, like, athletic conditioning course, and on it they said it was for everybody of all, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. levels, and I was like, amazing. And I went, so not true. <laughs> everybody is already very good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, and so, you know, you can just tell how much the weight is because of the size yeah. and yeah. everyone else is using very big weights and I was there with my little five pound, seven pound weight yeah. being like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm crushing it! Yeah, but I felt good afterwards. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, wow. uh, what, what kind of prompted this like whole thing where you were um, like, oh, I'm going to be buff now? I wanted to be stronger for a while. I think it's um, a mix of a lot of things. So I, before the pandemic, I won... I, I'm sure this is a big one, which is I got chased down the street by a random man who was on the street, and that scared in, in in Dumbo in Brooklyn. Oh, um, what, what, when you, when you got back? No, this was in 2019. This was pre-pandemic, and that's oh when I God. started boxing because oh, I was shit. like, if somebody got to me, yeah. I would die immediately. Yeah. And so I, I started boxing back then being like, I want to be stronger. I also want to be less oh, scared. Just yeah. Even if that never happens again, just the anxiety. I want to be less anxious when I'm walking around. Um, and then during the pandemic, when I was in Korea, I did a lot of sports just for fun. So I did a lot of like tennis and soccer. And yeah. so I was like, when I get back to New York, I have to keep moving. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I started Pilates when I was in Korea. And yeah. it was, this was like, one of my favorite things ever because I, I also like kept laughing and the instructor didn't understand why I thought this was so funny. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to put this in my stand-up, but in Korea, the instructors are very at once sincere and honest. Mm-hmm. And they're like, we're trying to help you. Like you've hired us to help you. So she'll be like, Karen, you have no muscle in your arm. <laughs> Karen, you have no muscle in your torso. And she's like, usually people without torso muscle have leg muscle, but you have no leg muscle. <laughs> kept going you're and a hot dog I, yeah. yeah and i like was laughing so hard and then she made me stretch and she was like you're very flexible in your hips i was like oh thank you and she was like but too flexible but too <laughs> like, you don't want to you, you've overextended your hip. it was just every single thing it's like about it's like my, my body God. Was it's like wrong. every korean mom is automatically a trainer do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah except my mom thinks i'm perfect so <laughs> oh, it was a moment so where sweet. Sweet. But it was really funny and i was tr- laughing and i after like wrote it all down because i was like this is so great to get roasted in by the right. sweetest, nicest woman oh trying God. to help me so funny. get yeah, strong. <laughs> yeah, and she was like, and she was kind of touching my leg. She was like, in the front here, this is called this muscle. It's not there. <laughs> here, this is like the name of this muscle. Oh, that also not there. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That so, is so funny. Yeah. It's, like, just, it's actually 
impressive. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how do you walk around? Yeah. <laughs> Are you just being blown by the wind? Yeah. From place to place? Yeah. Someone puts me in a wagon and just pulls yeah. me along. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm very sorry that you had that experience in yeah. 2019, and I'm of glad course. you're you're getting fit. You're talking about being in, from Korea. So for our listeners who know, you were in Korea for like years. Yeah, yeah I was really. there for, um, yeah, uh, nuts, June of 2020 until like two weeks ago now, 2022. Crazy. Yeah. Obviously because, uh, you know, a lot of it was the pandemic, but yeah, yeah. did you decide to just like, you know, you know, because I wouldn't say things got better here, <laughs> but it got more open at least and mm. you know but you you know you kind of stuck it out out there for a while well, you know was there a I reason did. for that um well so i initially went there because my grandma got very sick very suddenly mm. um and i'm really close with my grandparents our whole family our extended family is really close-knit and so june of 2020 i always feel like i have to give the context for this because we've lived through so many yes. variations yeah. of the pandemic but that was like before any sight of a vaccine yeah mm-hmm. it was like very scary and then that was also do you remember when they were like if you're young and you get covid you'll probably be fine yeah, but if yeah, you're yeah. like over 60 and you get it you're gonna die yes. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and 100%. so when my grandma got very sick i was like i'll go to curry i'm gonna live forever yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, so, yeah. um i went and that was despite it, any muscles no despite no muscles. any muscles <laughs> really, I'm yeah so fit, i clearly though. didn't know yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's no there's no muscles for the virus to attack yeah, yeah exactly just like just there's like, right like she's already dead let's move on yeah, yeah, yeah. we can't attack bones <laughs> yeah. yeah they're like oh we feel we have so much pity for her um <laughs> but yes so you're yeah so, so you I, I went to korea. to korea and then i truly i went there thinking i was only gonna be there for like a month um yeah. and then at most two months so i only brought summer clothes oh shit. Sure. um and it was also like very comfortable because i was like i'm just gonna be at my grandma's yeah. house were in the hospital the whole time yeah um and then it was a mix of not knowing that the pandemic would just stretch on forever for sure. that remote work would stretch on forever and that my grandma was also not going to get better for a very long time she's actually much better now which oh, is oh good, good i'm glad yeah thank you but um for the first like full year i want to say it was really intense very scary to the yeah. point where we had lots of family members fly to Korea, which at the time was crazy because it was a full two-week quarantine. Yeah. Right, yeah. So it was like to the point where we had relatives f- take three weeks off work to fly, quarantine for two weeks, see grandma for a week. And then, then and go then, back. And oh. then go back. And oh we God. were like, that's that's how serious it was. Right, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and so then I, I lived with my grandparents for like a year, almost a year and a half. Wow. And then I got, and then once I realized, I was like, I'm going to be here for longer. Yeah. yeah. Every month I was like, I'll be here for another month, I guess. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then that's when I got like, uh, like a long-term Airbnb stay kind of oh, okay. situation. Uh, and would do three days there, four days at my grandparents and go back and oh, forth. Oh, that's okay, nice. Wow. That was really nice. Yeah. So, I mean, um, <clears throat> obvi- you know, obviously, uh, the, the stress of taking care of grandma, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that sucks. But like, uh, uh it, when, once you kind of settled into Korea, once things kind of got a little bit better for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I mean, I think a lot of people were, were thinking, maybe we should get out of America. I, I was actually yeah, at a yeah. party and somebody, I think, referring actually to the political situation, he's like, hey, what's your backup plan? Like, <laughs> oh. yeah. And I, and I was like, I guess I would just move back to California and hope there wasn't a civil war there. I don't know. You know, I didn't know where this guy was, was going with this. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are like, hey, maybe I should get out of here. So oh, what, yeah. Wow. So for you, you yeah. know, did you, when, you, when you were there, did you look back at America and go, man, what a dumpster fire. <laughs> you know, yeah. genuinely, a weird thing happens where I think, because um, I've been to Korea a lot growing up, but I've never lived there for this long before. Right. And certainly not as like a working adult who with, you know, agency to do whatever I wanted. Um, and so... Being in America, and also because so much of my job is political satire, it's like reading the news and stuff. I was always like, America, this is a wild place to live, oh, right? For yeah. Sure. Yeah. This uh-huh. country is sort of burning itself from the yes. inside and the outside. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, yeah. um, and then when I was there, it was just like thrown further into perspective yeah, in a way that yeah. I could. I was just like, why is there a country with guns? <laughs> yes. Like, it's so crazy yeah. to. Th- uh, fathom that that is normal yeah and to see on the news on the korean news about like there's another school shooting in america nothing is going to happen yeah. you know what yeah. i mean like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. why is that country doing that to right. itself um yeah. and then like the january 6th riots i saw from the korean news which was in like wow. mind-boggling where i was watching it on tv being like that country is batshit yeah. and being like hold on that's where i normally <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait a second <laughs> yeah that's where my w2 comes from yeah yeah, yeah. really really just it, it, yeah, threw so many things into just yeah. wild perspective. <laughs> I have nothing eloquent to say about it what? beyond shock. I was gonna say, did you like have the thought 
I don't really want to go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um definitely. I think the first year. So I was there. June 2020 until I think like September 2021 was the first time I came back to the U.S. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Something like that. <laughs> um, and I remember being like, I feel so much safer in Korea. <laughs> like, oh my um, gosh, yeah. Especially COVID-wise. Right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. At that point, and so I was like, I was really nervous. I was coming back because I had a couple like work things in LA and New York. So I was like, I'll come back for that. I'm very excited for it. I really miss my friends. So I'm excited to see mm-hmm. my friends. Um, but when it, it was like a three-week trip, maybe. Uh, and then I flipped off Mike from the plane. Yep. Yeah, I and remember then I'm this. I, I remember like, this. Thank God I'm going to Korea. Thank God I'm never seeing Mike again. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was weird. I've never felt that way about America. Yeah. Right? Before. Yeah. Yeah. Least, I, yeah. Yeah. I agree. And weird. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as someone who as someone who has been inside it the whole time, yes. inside of the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is hot in here. Yeah. It is, yeah. Not great. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't, yeah. I, I'm, what is the... Thing when uh, can you give us an example of something when when you were in Korea some like everyday thing where you're like man this would never happen in in when I was in America you know what I'm saying or you know like what's the thing where you're like man this is like a real crazy thing that happens in Korea versus uh, versus in America you everything like that I was trying to explain something to my friend recently because in a, in Western news I think people talk a lot about sexism in Asia oh. um, and I always want to point out there there are like two different kinds of sexism at uh-huh. least well this is specifically for Korea yeah mm-hmm. sure um, where there's a sexism that exists in America that does not exist in Korea versus there's one that exists in Korea that does not so that still does exist in America but not as much so basically what I'm saying is in a lot of Western media there's sort of like um living in korea is really terrible to be a woman because uh, of like traditional like sure. this is what a woman's role is this is what a yeah. man's role is mm-hmm. like there's also a class ceiling there but gender you know stuff like that and, and then i'm sort of also like that is very true um although growing less true now sure. and so my yeah. my friends who are my age i think in korea don't feel that way as much whereas the our parents who immigrated here sort of remember a different era yeah, totally yeah. the thing that is so nice that as soon as i got back to new york i was like oh i forgot about this is there's no cat calling <laughs> at all oh, oh yeah there's yeah. no cat call- birth control is over the counter yeah. no questions asked yeah. like it's it's so it's so safe in seoul to be a woman um that like i went for runs at 11 p.m oh in the gosh. city and seoul is a bigger city than new york it's a million more yeah, people yeah, yeah. but you just feel like the bodily autonomy that i have there was it was so liberating yeah. in a crazy way where when I tried to explain it to my cousin who lived in Korea, I was just like, I feel like I'm not going to get attacked here. And she was like, yes. <laughs> like, what? And yeah. I, but just walking around, like my friends and I would go out and if I, in here, I would never walk home drunk at like 2 a.m. Yeah, right? for sure. And of then course. I'd be like, if I'm within walking distance, like half an hour yeah. of my apartment, I'll just walk home kind of like tipsy. Yeah. Because I'm like, nothing's going to happen to me. There's always those videos. So um I don't know if this happens anymore, but there was there used to be like a big Tumblr where it was like Korean people who have fallen asleep on the street after drinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and people yeah. would always like they would and they would always have a their glasses next to them. They would always like <laughs> nobody take off. steals stuff. Yeah, yes. and you just lie down and it's fine. It's so great. I, I, w- I was in a coffee shop and then I took my backpack with me to the bathroom, which of course you have to do, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I came back and I realized like nobody is doing they're all leaving all their shit totally. out like their wallet is on the table and they're using the bathroom yeah that's <laughs> what japan me. is like too yeah. it's yeah. exactly Japan's the same safe. but it's just a weird mental shift yeah where, like i couldn't it took me a little while to get used to that right you, you know yeah i don't know I was, I, and now you're back here yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i feel that maybe what america could do and this could be our offering to the world is you go ahead and you guys everybody come visit america and then you'll see how much better it is back home. Oh huh? my God. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the new tourism yeah. like slogan. It's like an anti-vacation. Yeah. You come here to get stressed out and then yeah, you go yeah, home yeah, yeah. to your peaceful country. That's so funny. Whoa. Yeah. I just solved it. Oh, um, yeah. That being said, I am also happy to be back. Are I didn't you? mean yeah. to trash. No. This I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone who listens to this podcast, I feel, yeah, we, we're spiraling all the time. Also, everything, you know, dumpster fire, this and that. So... I'm I'm glad you're you're here. I'm I, you know we missed you. Yeah, we missed uh, I'm you. Spe- I speak for America. We yeah, missed you. The country I missed, missed you. I missed you, but, America. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, uh, w- why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here. I'm here for like work, for friends, for yeah. I don't know. I also really want to do more stand up again, so I'm mm. back. Stand up versus <laughs> versus uh, you versus know, feeling safe. safe. Feeling yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah, right now I'm working out every day to yeah. stay alive. <laughs> Um, No, it is also, it is really nice to be back. I I came back and I was like, oh man, I I 
so many people I'm seeing, I'm just so thrilled yeah. to see and to take for granted that they're just going to be around. Um, although I will say, moving back to New York and then two of my very, very close friends moved to L.A. during the pandemic. Yeah. And it has shifted the city for me in my mind. Um Cause I'm like, oh, these are people I saw on the weekends all the time, and we would just sort of be like, hey, are you free? Do you want to get dinner? Right. And to have those people gone is yeah. really strange. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I feel that. Yeah, you didn't get to say, to have like a goodbye party. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they did either, because it was during COVID. They just sort of like disappeared from yeah. New York. Um, but yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Do you feel that way about pandemic times where people have gone? I guess Fumi, Fumi left. Fumi died. Yeah. Fumi, um, died. Fumi died. Fumi died. Um, yeah. Because I killed him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Plot That's twist. He's in hell. <laughs> <laughs> but he's having fun. But he's That's having really fun. fun. Also, hell safer than America. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they have health care. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I called an ambulance and I didn't know this, but ambulances in Korea are free. Yeah. I, no. And yeah. I truly was like, I'm just going to get a free ride every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, I, I got a paper cut. Can I get a yeah. ride to the Starbucks? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's just it's, okay. it's crazy. Okay. That's um, crazy. Yeah, I definitely think the part. You yeah. know, the yeah. It's changing. Like New York is changing. Well, I think the pandemic. I think if this country survives into the next fifty years, then um, historians will look back and like, you know, kind of say that essentially what happened is everything, like the very delicate structures uh, that was holding together the society got broken up everybody like switched seats really quickly mm. and like the, everything all the demographics switched really fast mm -hmm. and because of that um you know it it it, it cascaded to all these other things mm -hmm. and, and i think that's what you know uh, in, a, in a microcosm that what happened that's what happened to new york just even a more microcosm what happened to the comedy scene Right, because now, like, if I do, when I do stand up, there's like all these new people. I don't know some folks, some people who were like really new have become the big people, and some people who were like longtime veterans have stopped doing comedy. Mm -hmm. So everything just kind of like it's like we're like in the upside down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I think the the pandemic was kind of like. Yeah, really. that's yeah. true. It is also I feel like over this course of two years, if we had seen all that play out day to day, it would have felt less of a shock, right. but it almost yeah. feels like our last snapshot is 2020, early 2020. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a big switch. Yeah. Right. Totally. Yes. What's the best part about fall? All of the soup. Leaves changing. Sweater weather. Well, whatever it is, this autumn, make sure to get your COVID booster. Protect yourself and others by getting an updated COVID vaccine, especially if you're planning on getting together with family. And if you are 50 or older, you are at greater risk for hospitalization and death, particularly if you have a chronic disease. So get an updated vaccine now. Need more information? Talk to a doctor. Find updated COVID vaccines at vaccines.gov. We can do this. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I started taking Athletic Greens because I wanted a simple, easy way to get a lot of my vitamins, minerals, and probiotics. I personally made it part of my morning routine, which consists of waking up, journaling, spiraling a little bit, mm -hmm. snapping out of it, yep. and then making myself a glass of Athletic Greens alongside my morning coffee. Ooh, what is Athletic Greens? It's basically 75 high-quality minerals, vitamins, probiotics, and adaptogens. Tastes great, very easy to drink, super easy to incorporate into your day. It's lifestyle-friendly, whether you eat keto, Paleo, vegan, mm. dairy free, <laughs> yep. or gluten free. Mm. It costs you less than $3 a day, and it's cheaper than getting all the supplements separately. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you got to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Asian, not Asian. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash Asian, not Asian to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Because I'm in improv and I don't do stand up. There mm. was like two years of like no Nothing. people doing right. it. Right. Like the and all the things closed. Yeah. yeah. So like because I used to do it through UCB and now UCB is not here right now. It's like. The, in the two years, there would have been like two new like cycles of people coming up. Yeah. And it's like that doesn't exist in yeah. the same structured way. And so there are new people doing like improv stuff, but they're like doing it on their own or they're like at like different theaters. And it's like, I don't know who they are. Yeah. And so then I'll just like show up at a, like I'm a veteran now. And I was like, what the heck? I yeah, didn't yeah, think yeah. I was a veteran before the pandemic. Yeah. And now I'm like, 
on the side of veteran and I'm like wow this is so weird it, it, and it feels like just so sudden yeah it's like yeah, I yeah. did because I wasn't performing for those two years so I, I'm like what yeah. that's so funny I think, yeah. I think that's really what it what it hits on this isn't very funny but I think essentially our social ties got disturbed yeah mm-hmm. right and I you know I think that could that could lead to from everything to you know why we have more you know depression and we we have more we, well, might be why we have more crime yeah and uh it, it's because the you know the people you used to know either unfortunately died or they moved away and now everything is kind of like topsy-turvy and like the social ties that we have like help us maintain norm right and since mm-hmm. we don't have those anymore then everything like feels weird and that's why like you don't feel like you're in the same place i completely just made that up on the spot <laughs> no but that but, makes a lot of sense you know what i'm saying fully, yeah and yeah. i believed you <laughs> I, yeah. You said it confidently. Yeah, yeah. buy my book. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Karen, you're writing a book. <coughs> and you're dying. Are I you okay? I am dying. I'm okay. You want some water? You want to take um, a break? No, I'm good, but thank okay. you. I um, I am writing a book. I'm writing a book. It's due at the end of the month. <laughs> oh. But I feel fine about it. Can we? Okay. Can you talk about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like... um. It's like a collection of short, funny things. So they go from things as short as things you would see in... Uh, the New Yorker shouts and murmurs to slightly Love longer it. like short stories yeah. um, kind of a variation of a bunch of stuff I essentially I read a lot of Simon Rich books and was mm-hmm. like this is so great yeah. I would love to do stuff like this yeah. obviously not to the level that he is doing it but um, better yeah. 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 yeah better than that level <laughs> yeah, obviously not that level <laughs> you bitch <laughs> and underneath Karen Chi yeah. Karen Chi the meanest woman in publishing <laughs> She's so mean. She's seven feet tall and mean She's as fuck. So, no muscle. No yes, muscle, yeah, but yeah. so mean. Huge Just and a, mean. A seven foot long a skeleton with skin. This is my author bio. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. That's cool. I mean, was there any like particular impetus where you were like, man, you know, I should really guess. Um, about. I just thought this it would be fun to do when I was working at late night. Um, because I was writing so much for the show, and it also took me a few months to figure out how to write stuff for the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I was, all the stuff that I came up with that wasn't quite stand-up and wasn't late night, I was like, oh, I should sort of write this down and have in the back in case I ever want to do more New Yorker stuff or different things. And then eventually there was enough where I was like, oh, maybe I should sort of focus on this. Um, And so then when it was pandemic time and we were all at home and, you know, obviously no stand-up, so I suddenly had like a chunk of time freed up. It's like, oh, okay, I should maybe see if this is now the time. All right, there we go. And yeah. Is Is there any, are there particular themes that you feel like you're like, clustering around that's a really good question so i've been writing it um without thinking of any themes and what i'm hoping is that when i have the whole full draft i'm gonna cut a big chunk of it probably Mm -hmm. and then hopefully after that i'll be like oh hey there a theme does emerge or like a few do and then i can sort of break them up into sections yeah um but i'm just writing it as to like whatever i find funny in the moment um yeah so i have no idea holy crap yeah you don't have an idea it's it's due in 20 days (laughs) it is due (laughs) I haven't started writing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. This is like the worst case scenario college yeah. situation. I published like a pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> we put the, the day the day before you're like making the font all big. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. This font. huge font. Double giant space. Margins. Children's like, yeah. book. Yeah, it's like this this book only has one joke in yeah. it. Yeah, it's uh, mostly illustrations. It's mostly illustrations. Oh, don't even so bad. So bad. So I don't bad. even know what it is. <laughs> it's just her hand outline over yeah. and over again. And a turkey. Yeah, and a turkey. <laughs> And another turkey, but from the future. Oh, yeah. uh, do you have a name? No, that's the one thing. Holy where... crap, Karen! I'm so worried for you now. <laughs> no, you're, I don't think I need a name yet. I think, yeah, I think yeah. You can backwards oh, calculate okay. that. The name I think you usually do. So the book is due, and then you have six to eight months, I think, to edit it with your oh, editor, okay. and then it goes into like you, and then you submit the final draft. Right. So I think during the editing phase is when you're like a lot really? of titles will change. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I really wanted it to be the name of one of my like short essays or pieces That's cool. um and then be like end other stories or something like that so yeah. they yeah, know yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they're all silly and that the title is not that important right um but i have no idea we'll see we'll wow. see how it goes see yeah. this is like the mentality where i am at i would be like where it's the title and i don't have that yet and i would stop writing yeah you wouldn't like, write the rest of it yeah and i just don't know because i don't know you know how to like write stuff like that you know what I'm saying? gotcha yeah, yeah i mean i don't either this is my first time so we'll, it could just be so bad what if they, yeah, <laughs> no. like, at the end of the month they're like what's the title yeah and they're like uh, well i have a draft bugs. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bugs and other stories yeah. that's a cute name actually i, I, I kind of love it yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> we solved it, everybody. I love bugs. Mm, bugs. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> you have to have the sound yeah. in the title. <laughs> bugs. Bugs. <laughs> Some college like entomology department is just like, we love this yeah. bug. This book is so like, good for this really mean Finally, comedian. Finally, there's something for us. <laughs> <laughs> and then they read it. There's no bugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she lied. She lied. It's just, just nothing. This is a tricky thing to talk about, personally, as a man, as a dude, and I'm talking about my hair. Yes, I have hair, okay? I'm sensitive about it. I wanted to to find a treatment for hair growth that took into account my whole body. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement, clinically shown to improve your hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi-target the root causes of thinning, including stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, and lifestyle through whole body health. Physician formulated using natural medical grade ingredients, Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides consistent, reliable results without compromising your sexual health. Hey, In a clinical study, men showed progressive improvements in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is also trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering the promo code Asian to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com slash men spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men. Promo code Asian. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I wanted to talk about a time when I really got stuck on a problem. It was when I was first thinking about making that big move to New York, and instead of trying to figure things out, like where I was going to live, I just focused on how afraid I was. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when you're under a lot of stress and facing challenges, but a therapist can help you find a better mindset so you can accomplish your goals. I use my therapy experience to help me realize when I'm having intrusive, unhelpful thoughts and to refocus on solving my problems. I use the skills I learned in therapy to this day. I even use them today. Therapy can be like a set of tools I carry around with me everywhere I go. If you're thinking about doing therapy, consider BetterHelp. It's affordable and it's online, which is important because I think anything that makes therapy more accessible is great. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com Asian today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com Asian. Uh, okay, great. Um, well, thanks for joining. We're, we haven't had one of these little conversations in a while. This, this is like a little DOS race news segment. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's and do it. It'll be fun. Okay. Um, and it's use from, the word triggering earlier. I did use the word triggering <laughs> because some, because the, because these kinds of things, it's a very small topic, but it evokes big emotions. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is from Reddit, which so you already know it's going to be kind of weird. But uh, this is from the un- unpopular opinions section okay okay so mm-hmm. the the subreddit unpopular opinions and so uh i'll read the title and i'll read the little blurb here chopsticks are inferior to a fork and knife uh in whoops in every task okay and the guy re- uh I-, I won't read this whole thing um uh i know res- no disrespect to cultures that continue to use the chopsticks but from a user's perspective <laughs> <laughs> user's oh perspective mm. ux Working guy in tech, yeah uh, yeah the fork and knife are clearly superior um <laughs> any tool that can be used to achieve the same goal <laughs> with an easier learning curve jesus is the superior tool anyone with user experience design knowledge wow will tell you that it's always better to achieve the same goal with a more intuitive interface uh and in western countries anyone who judges uh, someone else for preferring to use a fork and or knife to eat asian he, he puts asian in quotes i don't know why uh cuisine is simply <laughs> gatekeeping or being unnecessarily judgmental Ooh. and yeah there we go this is the unpopular opinion that uh this was um you know a couple days ago and it got um you know some people were all, all up on it so mm. wanted to know what you thought i having grown up in a chopstick background I realize now as an adult, I use chopsticks so like for cooking, for yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think they're so versatile. They are mm-hmm. very versatile. Yeah. Um, but 
oh my god it just literally that sounded like every day at Google <laughs> <laughs> like, did you wow. work at Google uh, yeah I currently work at oh Google. gotcha gotcha oh, I don't yeah. know if I should Shout say that oh, well. Google yeah, I'm oh, there that's right. some people are good at Google <laughs> some people some are hey, bad at Google yeah. hey yeah. I'm pretty good at Google <laughs> yeah Jenny I'm telling queen you queen of Google, Google. Queen of yeah. Google. <laughs> you know what <laughs> Can I, I ask, think. what did you mean by good at Google? I swear to God, when you Google something, uh-huh. okay, yeah. it's, it, I feel, this uh-huh. is me, okay, also, hold on, this isn't about me, this is about the chopsticks. No, it's yeah. about you. We're yeah. fully, we fully New pivoted. race news, yeah. Okay, I think when you use, I used to be when you used Google, I feel that like it would just show, sh- serve up the thing you really wanted. But now, mm. when you Google something, it will show you... Uh, here's shopping about it. Here's yes, yes, uh, yes. here's a, here's a bunch of spon- ads about it. Yes. Here's um, some news about it. Here's some pictures. Here's a knowledge pane mm. of which the knowledge pane is not consistent. It doesn't consistently pull from one source. Uh huh. Sometimes it's Wikipedia. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just the first page that you were. Or like the third page, like the third link down, but it's like the most authoritatively sounding. So it's like if you Googled like, can I give my baby hot dogs? Maybe I Googled that recently. Maybe yeah. I didn't. Yeah. And the answer? And the answer is, uh, well, ch- scroll through the shopping links in order to find out. Uh, that's like, for me, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, how yeah, I yeah. feel Google is. Yes. And so now so I work. feel you have to, you have to have an understanding that Google is no longer just giving you this thing. There's also like, you have to like, step around the different money mm-hmm. minefield that is happening that's what i mean by being good at google because then you also have to ask the right questions yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying the, of search, google. the key search has to be like yeah be more specific right exactly yeah. and sometimes yes so um that's what i meant yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. a pretty good that was really good that was bravo bravo this respect feels, it yeah. this I, feels, i'll let google know i recent my middle fingers <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah Karen's it's just fingers are up this whole just fists. time. <laughs> just fists. I've been boxing. Your fists are adorable, by the way. Thank you so much. Yeah, there, you know, there's there's usually fists here, but there's nothing. There's yeah. nothing for you. Yeah, there's nothing. It's just no stuff. knuckles. It's just you yeah. have no knuckles. Usually people have fingers and they oh don't have fingers. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I did do a thing where um, at the gym they in America uh-huh. they gave me like a full fitness assessment like as thank you for joining here's a thing you can do uh-huh. and they sort of are like this is your bmi this yeah. is your muscle index and then they were like you have to lose nine pounds whoa and i was like what that's so weird because i feel like i'm in the target weight and she was like you are but i mean you have to lose nine pounds and gain 11 pounds of muscle oh, <laughs> and i was like whoa. so i'm lacking and she was like you just nothing <laughs> And I was like, in America. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so cool. that, see, that's the American version of right. doing it. It's like, hey, we have like data to back up our thing. That or one, I think also, they're both data driven. I think this that's one, the lady funny. was so nice about it, where she was like, uh, you look great. Don't feel bad about your body. It's just a matter of changing some of the like soft right. parts to harder parts. You know what I mean? <laughs> harder parts. And then in Korea, it was just sort of like, nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was nothing here. So it's so funny to get that assessment kind of international like yeah. in different countries I, mean, yeah, I right. should go to every single <laughs> yeah, every country, country in the world and, like, yeah, yeah. in Australia assessment. I'm like the beauty standard yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh yeah <laughs> and, uh, yeah if you go to Estonia you know yeah, they just yeah. go no you are corpse you yeah. are corpse my friend uh, we're not talking about this uh, chopstick oh, sorry, thing sorry 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 about the chopstick topic we're fully top to pop here's how I feel thoughts? about the chopstick thing is I bet for that guy that is true mm-hmm. I feel like I sucks at using chopsticks oh yeah. right? a million percent the only the, it's like the same thing of like I'm not gonna force my grandma to like use an iPad. Actually, my grandma's really good at her <laughs> iPad, but um, it's, it's like when a lot of times you don't... L- okay, an example is like, my grandpa uses an iPhone, but we didn't update it to the latest one because we're like, that's actually going to be harder for him, yeah. ah. even if it's supposed to be intuitive, more intuitive and easier to use. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Whatever, because it's like, that's just not... For him, that's going to yeah. be more difficult. For this, I'm assuming, white dude, it's just <laughs> yeah. going to be like, chopsticks are too hard for you. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think the thing that's annoying is that he then assumes that he's the status yeah. quo yeah, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. whole that this is world. The, yeah, the user experience design knowledge. Yeah, and that's <laughs> like, when you're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Literally classic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is something I think that is a big problem in tech, right? That they say yes. that they, they sort of assume that everybody they build does it for this the way. Yeah. Person who's building it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That one specific person. That one person, person who tends oh, to be I, like I a had white a hard time with this. Therefore, male. it's bad. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you're like, right. a lot of people have different experiences, and that's like what tech is dealing with now. It's like mm. D, like right. DNI stuff, which is like you have to make sure it's usable for everybody. I also think uh, that there's this weird thing that's happening. Um, 
where uh, there's like a uh, user experience techification of the food experience. Mm. You know, like that one thing that people eat sometimes. What's it called? Uh, um, cereal. <laughs> cereal. No, it's like a it's like Bread a shake. Sandwich. No, what? it's a like a shake. Drink? Soylent. Soylent. Oh. You know, because like the person who invented it was like, I don't like eating. I yeah. just want to do it for fuel. Mm. And and this is the most efficient way to get calories I into know. mouth. You know, and like reduce yourself into. Uh, a productive automaton, automaton mm, yeah. right? It's just like the opposite of the whole thing we were talking about resting. Yeah. You know? In, and it's been really nice because I'm on leave right now. So, like, every day I get to think about what to eat for dinner. And then I take my son with me to the store and we fresh get the food. That's yeah, so, that's so cute. cute. And and it's it's great. And here's the thing is that it's really nice to do. It's... Um, it takes up mad time, right? Yeah, yeah it does. As it should. And here's the thing. it, it While I'm doing it, I am not making anyone money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not making. I'm not being productive, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. so I think that's why a lot of people are like, "Well, they, that's an unproductive way to spend your time." Yes. Spend, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel that there is like some of this happening too with this chopstick thing. I totally. How can agree. I get the food into mouth faster? Yeah. And in the most efficient way. Yeah. 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 So I can get when, back to coding. Yeah. I hate <laughs> when everything is about efficiency. Yeah, dog. Mm-hmm. Also, inefficiency though, player. Chopsticks, <laughs> like it, it, the the tool that you use impacts the weight, like every bite. Yes. You know, like what you can load in your bite. Yeah, yeah, What, yeah. like, the bite feels like. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. just different experiences. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Just, that's like, true. eating pasta with chopsticks, which I have done before, because mm-hmm. in Japan, you eat, you can eat, like, Italian pasta with chopsticks, you know? Oh. They're always... It's just like, noodles. It's just noodles, yeah. but it is different true than that. eating with a fork. Mm-hmm. It is true. Mm-hmm. And... Um, it's just different. I would love this. I, you know, it, it's... We've actually kind of normalized the other thing, where, like, if you go to an Asian restaurant, and then, you know, people ask for a knife and fork, right? But why don't we go to like yeah. Western countries and ask for chopsticks? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. We, we should go, go to a McDonald's yeah. and be oh. like, hello. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I like, can't eat these nuggets yeah, with my like, hands. Like, we don't have utensils, period. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we level the playing yeah. field. Eat with your hands. Eat with your hands. <laughs> my mom in our car uh, keeps like chopsticks uh, oh really like oh. the sort of because you know when you go to like a supermarket or whatever, whatever and yeah. then they always give you the sort of wooden yeah, yeah. disposable yeah. chopsticks suck. she always keeps them in the car in case we have to snack like an emergency <gasps> food situation we're ready to go oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that <laughs> so it's, it's got great. it's got you got like a little like you know you got flares you yeah. got a spare tire <laughs> yeah. survival chopsticks survival yeah. chopsticks it's like in the compartment in between the two front seats yeah. you know yeah. if you yeah. open yeah. it yeah. it's like gum hand lotion sunblock chopsticks oh I my god that. I thought it was a gun I was like holy crap yeah, my mom yeah. has a rifle she in there. Yeah, firearm. Yeah. But also those metal chopsticks that Korean people use. Yeah. They're so heavy. That's where, that's, that's, that's where you probably have muscles in your hand. You use those Korean oh, chopsticks? Oh, I bet. From, oh, from you know what? Okay, what I did Finger notice strength. is that on my right hand, my knuckles are bigger than my left hand. Yo. Some, for my rings, I got like a... I, people have rings. I mean, that sounds so yeah, weird. Like, yeah, I'm the only you, person you in the world yeah. with a ring. Which I'm also You're currently explain, not wearing. Yeah. Totally yeah. Like, I'm wearing rings. <laughs> yeah. But the, but the like, it's not a one-to-one, like my forefinger, my right hand, forefinger, my left hand. My right, right. hand is just significantly a little bit thicker. Let me see. Stronger. Hold on. Let yeah. me see your right, right hand. Okay, this is good. <laughs> on the left hand. The, he's, yeah, For people Mike listening, is doing Mike analysis. is gently <laughs> touching my right hand. Right hand looks good. Right On left hand, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing on the left hand. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> you need to lose nine pounds in your left hand, but gain 11, 11 pounds, pounds in muscle. <laughs> it was oh, such a, it was like, a, left hand. I was like, how do I? And I was like, should I try and lose weight first? She was like, no, if you just start working out, it'll turn into muscle. And I was like, so you're just telling me I just need to get stronger. I would love, cool. can I just say, I would love to go to the gym with you. I would love to work out. Let's go to the gym together. I'm so down. Yeah. I'm so down. I used, to be, really I used to be a power lifter. Oh I used my, to you be, were? Yeah. I, I used to be. I used to be maybe... 25 pounds heavier than I was Whoa. now. And a lot of it was fat, but also a lot of it was muscle. Wait, okay, actually, Mike, I would love to, and I also want to try jujitsu. Because <gasps> I did take one no. Oh, no, oh, you, yes. you brought it oh, up. Yeah. I always am like, no, more no I'm so <laughs> down. <laughs> you just said the magic word. Yeah, and I like just perish. <laughs> yeah, then, I like pass out in the corner. <laughs> oh my God. I was, well, so I was really athletic growing up, and I did. Taekwondo for oh, like cool. eight years and soccer for like maybe probably the same like eight years. And so I was really into that. Um, so I've now, even now when I meet people, I sort of am like, do you think, do I think I could fight this person? Really? <laughs> it's sort of a thing in my mind. Oh, because I think that. Yeah. And so I feel like I would love to learn. I mean, I'm obviously very weak, but I'm really down to get beaten up. <laughs> and wow. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Okay, you just text. said the magic word. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I will text you. Okay. Uh, you can come to my... Uh, Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> I pay, this, Mike. Oh, yeah. You pay me. <laughs> 
I will have like a like a fun like mustache, like an instructor mustache. Oh, you know? Hell yeah. No, but you can come to the academy that I train at. And then, Whoa. Yeah, that's school. So it's called formal. an academy. I don't know why. It's okay. called. It's a school. My my. You just the they school. give out the Oscars yeah. every year. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's that place. Cool. Yeah, cool. It's hosted by yeah Billy Crystal. So you can come <laughs> and you can take a few classes and yeah. I'll be there. Okay. And you will look adorable in your little gi. No. And okay. Until I punch your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh my gosh! I'm we excited. Are, oh my, I can't wait to take our relationship so to the next ex- level. He's so excited! I'm so excited about this. Okay, <laughs> we're playing one more uh, segment with our guest Karen Chi, uh, and that's well, me. <laughs> can I say too, Karen, uh, that you, um, you're like, like. You're, you're like a, like, uh, not only do I want to train jujitsu with you. Yes. I would love to go to a bar. Yes. And just see you shutting people down. I feel you're like a badass. I feel like you'd be like, oh, yeah. you'd be like, be like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I think I, um, yeah, I, I really try to be very nice and polite. And then if I feel like I also just take zero, I have zero time for bullshit. Yes. <laughs> so it's sort of like, I'll, I'll be really yeah. nice and friendly and I genuinely love most people. But if I feel like you're being a dick, I'm just like, get out of my yeah. life. My life is too short. <laughs> Yo, get on the private I've, plane. I've like learned today. <laughs> I, I need to be more like Karen. <laughs> we all need to be more like, like Karen. You. Like, you didn't want to do that thing? Then why did you do it? You know, yeah. like yeah. the cops were having off mic and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you do what? that thing? <laughs> Why did you tell him to F off? Yeah. Get so on you the know, plane. I don't really swear at people no. that much. I feel like I should clever. Except for Mike, who yeah. I obviously yeah. fucking yeah. hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, it's a, there's a lot yeah. of like animosity I'm between these two. I'm suggesting jujitsu to, so I can beat him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're actually a black belt already. Yeah. You're like mad good. I didn't even, I, uh, in my research, you're cornering I, him didn't into see, a fight. I didn't see that you're an IBJJF world champion. Yeah, I'm like abs. Yeah. yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining you, like you're changing into, and you just ripped. Yeah. I do the you're thing where like, I like throw off my shirt, yeah. and it's like, oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> she has a full back tattoo, oh. and it's a and She is seven feet tall. And she's seven feet tall. She was on her knees all the time. <laughs> and she has a back tattoo of me, and it's me and the. I'm on a I'm on a cross and it's upside down. <laughs> oh my god, Karen! And you're like, I fucking hate <laughs> fuck you, Mike. <laughs> All right, we're going to play this game called uh, Asian Not Asian, and it's very simple. And the way uh, it works is we're going to, uh, you know, throw a few uh, topics that uh, we, we talked about on the podcast, and we're going to ask Karen, and I guess everybody here, is this thing Asian or not Asian? I Jenny. guess everybody yeah. here. I guess everyone here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready to go, ready to go. Uh, okay, here's the first one. Not having any muscles. I think it's just specifically Karen G. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a uh, real personal issue here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you What do you think? Asian or not Asian? To not have muscles. So any, there's so many like layers. Not having. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even say any muscles. You just know, not having muscles. <laughs> yeah, not having muscles. So Asian. like Jello. Yeah. yeah, I would say Jello is pretty not. Jello feels very American. Yeah, like yeah. it's like a classic dessert at a buffet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. but Asian desserts have gelatin. There's gelatin desserts. We have I almond love. Jello. I love almond Jello. Almond Jello. I love gelatin-based desserts that aren't American Jello. <laughs> and I want them to. I want people to know in America that Jello is not gelatin. But it's also a bit firmer, right? Asian yeah. Jello desserts are. I feel like less so wobbly. Good. Less yeah, wobbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so not having muscle is not Asian. Because the gelatin is even firmer there. Not having Ooh, muscle is yeah, not yeah, Asian. Yeah, yeah. But having it's muscle and Jell-O. Asian. Okay. Yeah, so not having muscle is not Asian. Okay, <laughs> There's cool. so many left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it's a Karen thing. It is. It's a Karen cheat thing. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. All right, here's the second one. Bugs. <laughs> Bugs, uh, and Asian for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, I yeah. was gonna yeah. say, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, 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 Immediately, we all knew the answer. Can yeah. I, can I tell you I when love bugs. when I went through when I went through uh, I, I, I was in uh, I was in um, actually I was in Japan. And people think of Japan as like, oh, you know, it's a very modern country, oh. all advanced and shit. But it's also like a tropical island. Yeah. And so it's also not advanced. Does Japan <laughs> count as a tropical island? It's not, a, it's not technically a tropical island. But it's an island. island but it's I guess. an yeah. island, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, I remember walking through, uh, 
I really, I mean, a, a lot of Tokyo is pretty nice, but I was in a very, 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 very nice part of Tokyo. Hell yeah. And uh, I was walking through Okay, there. Mike has money. <laughs> I was on my way to the thrift shop. He was really... trespassing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I was running through it because the police were chasing me. No, and uh, there was this really fancy store. I forgot, maybe it was like um, an EC store. And I go in there. I, I, I just walk by and the, the salespeople are looking up at, uh, you know, it's a beautiful store. It's like there's a glass wall on the outside, and there's this giant <gasps> hornet there. I mean, must have been, I swear to God, like as long as, as much bigger than my thumb. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Huge. And I was just looking at it. I'm like, they have to sell the store now. There's no way <laughs> you can get rid of this, this fucking hornet. Yeah. You know, and so I was like, bugs, for sure. Bugs. We got bugs. bugs. Oh, yeah. Asia, Asia got bugs. <laughs> bugs. We love us bugs. Yeah. We love us bugs. Yeah. All right, that's a good one. Do you got one? No, that's why I said my brain is broken. Aha! Uh-huh, how about that one? Is your brain <laughs> oh, yeah, being your broken? your brain being broken. Asian or not Asian? We know about not having muscle. <laughs> yeah. How Wait, about? Th- I was like, the brain is not a muscle, so I guess by virtue of that, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I actually forgot how we answered on yeah. the muscle question. I also I forgot confused. because we invi- we introduced uh, a jello gelatin layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gelatin <laughs> layer, the gelatinous <laughs> layer. That confused, confused the shit out of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I would say, just go back very quickly on the jello question. Oh yes, yeah. The Thank white you. white people jello, yes, uh, almond jello, Asian. But then what about the jello that's like maybe inside of um, you know uh, a growth agar? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Growth you know? agar? Like yeah. a petri dish? Yes. That's what is that? That's a jello. Yeah, and is what that? country does that belong to? <laughs> yeah, right? mm, that's a thinker. That's a thinker. You know, like when, when they well, you ever you ever done a DNA electrophoresis? You ever, no. ever done that? No. Well, you were what? saying a lot of words where is I'm this like, your hobby? Don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is this is this is a, for, you know what it's a, it's a it's a technique for like laying out DNA and you put like samples into like a little bunch oh. of holes oh. and then you shoot it like electricity through it and it goes through uh, it goes through like a an, a layer. Mm. I don't know what that is, but that's also jello-y. Mm. Okay. Think about that. Sounds well, delicious. So now I'm worried we're thinking about gooey stuff. Yeah, we <laughs> are. Well, we are thinking about gooey but, stuff But now. may I would say gooey stuff Asian. Yes, yeah. gooey yeah. stuff is gooey Asian. Stuff Asian. That feels yeah. Asian. I think if it has a firm shape but wobbles, American. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not Asian, you know? And if it changes shape, Asian. Asian. Yeah. We're hitting the heavy questions yeah. today. Yeah, the deep questions. <laughs> Niles, I hope you're still listening. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, wait, deep down I just like jello. <laughs> So this is what I was about the whole time. My God, thank you so much, Asian Not Asian Podcast. All right, well, that's the game today. I wanted to thank our guest, Karen Chi. Thank, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. you for coming. Karen, yeah. where can our fans find you and your work? Um, in New York City. <laughs> Did you just give out your personal address? Yeah. <laughs> 23 um, uh, Bacon Street. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. It's just my name, Karen Chi, with an extra E at the end. Wow, yeah. awesome, Which awesome. Was, yeah. And you're, uh, we didn't, we didn't get to touch upon this because it's just, you're, you're, we have so many f- fun things to talk about, but you're also uh, writing on Pachenko? Yes, we just finished the writing the season. Amazing. Oh my God. Um, but, oh my God, it was such a dream. It was so fun. I learned a ton and it was really great. Like, yeah, awesome. And now I'm back at late night. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Check, yeah. uh, please check out uh, Karen and her, her upcoming book, Bugs and Other Stories. Bugs? <laughs> Bugs and other stories. <laughs> and other stories. It's, it's the other stories that really sell. Yeah. Because if you got bugs, you're like, oh, I don't know about bugs, yeah. but other things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's going to be light and fun. I mean, it covers everything it covers possible, everything. right? It's all bugs and all not bugs. Yeah. <laughs> so, whatever you're interested in, this book has got yeah, it. You got it. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, you can find uh, the podcast at uh, Asian, not, uh, Asian Pod. Um, and you can find me um, on Instagram at Nice Pants Bro. Um, and yeah. You can find me anywhere at Jenny Arimoto. That's uh, uh, that's that's it, baby. Um, until then, uh, you know what? Um, d- uh, delve into your various jellos. <laughs> I it, do. I want to have a longer conversation about jellos. I do. I you know I what? I think it's an important conversation we need to have as a culture. I mm. agree with you there, one hundred percent. And also. We are at Canal Street Market. So I want to see if they got some jellos here. And oh. we do a little bit of field testing oh. for jello. Oh, wow. Jellos. That's my dream come true. Or at least gooey things. You know how yeah. you got excited when you talked about jujitsu? jiu-jitsu? Yeah. I just felt that same thing when you said <laughs> jello tasting. <laughs> I feel so happy. How do we have I'm a show together? Alive. <laughs> All right. All right. We love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.